Hey guys, Geeks and Ugly Studios here with another Ninjago 2015 minifigure review. Since uh, you already saw the Air Jitsu Kai minifigure review, uh, this, I'm gonna take it out of here. Because you've already seen it. Click the minifigure right here if you want to see the video, if you haven't already. Alright, here we go. So here are my two members of the Ghost Army that happen to be the General and a presumed High Officer or something in a high position. And the new pieces to notify Wraith's Cool Ninja Mask with the there's actually a hole in that. An intentional hole, not a bad printing hole. Uh, and there's uh, this whole purple headband. And it's a blue, completely new element. His face printing looks super cool. His back printing looks cool. So it's the, those translucent legs are also new. I really like those because it's solid printing on a translucent element, which does not happen much. And I just really like how that looks. Now we have the big one appearing at the end of the episode, uh, Corridor of Elders. Moro. Yeah, that was a pretty bad impression. But still, here is Moro. He has his... Uh, sand green arms here, lots of sand green detailing on his torso, plus dark green. His torso is kind of emulating the Ninjago 2011 Ninja Torsos, with but with a silver symbol, and which also happens to be a green ninja symbol, the original symbol for the green ninja, which is a bit eerie, hinting that he's green. So many fan theories have been going around that he is a past green ninja or something like that. We don't know right now, but I'm sure that symbol will be explained in due time. Another one of those awesome leg prints. Uh, 2014 Ninjago mask. Then this uh, cool hair. I always like this hair element. Then on the back, you can see this uh, Asian looking symbol uh, on the green printed back. And then here's the cool part. With his hair on, it kind of diminishes the whole point of having a translucent head. But once the translucent head is off, or once the hair is off, you can totally see that awesome printed translucent head with the green shading around the eyes to make it look kind of like sullen. Then take the mask off, and you can see that Moro, he looks like kind of a young guy. He doesn't look too old. He kind of like a, got a grinning face, pretty evil. The green details look great on the trans green, and he definitely does have a very ghostly appearance. I like how he looks with just that, because then you can still kind of see the translucence. I really like that. And then here is Wraith, his sidekick and partner in crime. And this has been my second 2015 Ninjago Summer minifigure review, and I will be doing reviews on most of the minifigures I receive in sets. Rather than reviewing the whole sets, I'll focus on my favorite part, the minifigs. So thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share this with your friends if they haven't seen these awesome new minifigures yet, and I do believe I am the first on YouTube to have them in my possession. Alright, so thanks for watching. See you later.